Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you all a really fun video which is what's in my handbag. I love watching these videos and um, I thought it'd be fun to share with you all today what's in my bag. So my current handbag that I've had since April this year is the Fairfax and Favour Mini Windsor and this is in the tan leather. The thing I love the most about this bag, aside from the really convenient size, is the grab handles. This is something that I've really been drawn to recently and something that is really functional for me. Um, I love the fact that if it's, you know, wherever it's sat, wherever it is, you can literally just grab it and go. Um, and being a crossbody girl, the sort of struggle you have with a crossbody bag and having to sort of like wrestle with this strap to grab your bag and then put it on, it's just not very convenient. And this having these grab handles is such a godsend and something that I didn't really think was so practical and so handy and something I would love so much. And this is kind of a follow on from this bag that I got in Christmas last year. And this is also that sort of little grab tote that I love. And I think this will definitely be coming back out during autumn, uh, winter, because it's that sort of color and it's canvas. So I won't feel so precious about this getting potentially wet or grubby because it's easier to just sort of deal with. Um, however, the downside to that is the fact that it doesn't have a crossbody strap, which is something that I'm very much used to. I've always had crossbody bags. I love the convenience of not having to hold my bag and I can literally just, you know, wear it and just not think about it. You know, it just sits comfortably on my body and I don't have to worry. So that's what I really love about this bag. It's that perfect blend of I can you know just carry it like this if I want to which is how I normally sort of carry it from A to B if I'm not out for a long day you know if I'm just popping from the car to I don't know the pub and then I'm going to be sat in there you know I'll literally just carry it to there I it's very rare that I put it sort of over my uh sort of in the crook of my elbow it's not really how I tend to wear my bags I tend to just carry them with the little handle or across the body also, a little story behind this bag is quite funny, really. Uh, I used to have this bag in the tan suede many moons ago, and I really loved that bag for the fact that it matched my boots. It was really pretty and it was nice. However, the fact that it was just a suede bag, it was not structured, and I could see over time with other people's bags that they would just sort of sag and bend in on themselves. There was no structure. They were very soft and the fact that it was suede as well it was getting marked very easily and damaged and what have you and I thought that's just not practical for me so I just got rid of the bag and I didn't miss it uh the size was nice but I don't know where I was in life at the time but that just wasn't practical for me however uh in recent times they brought out the all leather full-size Windsor and when that came out, I thought, oh my God, if they bring that out in a mini, I'm going to have to get that. Like, I just would have to. And they did. And for ages and ages, I was thinking, do I? Do I? I just didn't know. And at the start of the year, I bit the bullet and treated myself for my 23rd birthday and got the mini Windsor. And to be honest, I haven't regretted it. I love this bag. The fact that it is all leather, it's so structured, it's so tough. Um, I haven't had any issues with its um like the manufacturing of it so far so good you know no no threads have come loose it seems in good nick thankfully uh so we'll see how long it wears up for um but at the minute i'm really loving it and i'm really happy with it it goes with a lot tan leather is my favorite that's all i wear is leather and um tan colors so i'm very much happy with this bag right now Additionally, I have this little piece of silk material that I've tied round one of the handles here. This is from Claire Haggis, and this was actually attached to a scrunchie that I have. Um, and I sometimes like to wear the scrunchie separately without this, I think they're called like a twilly or something. 
yeah so I don't really tend to wear this attached to the scrunchie I actually like to just put this on my bag and then I might wear the scrunchie separately and I think that's quite nice to then sort of tie them together I like that sort of matchy matchy so um yeah and I think it just complements the colour of the bag really nicely so yeah this is permanently on and I love it so um yeah so this is my bag it has little gold feet gold hardware I'm not a gold hardware girl but I don't really care that it's on the bag like it doesn't really ruin my outfit that I wear all silver and my bag is gold uh I'm not that fussed but yeah it's really nice it's lovely structure it's a nice size it's got this little popper closure you can change the little tassel out if you want to and you can also make the bag bigger by undoing this and then the sides like an accordion you know expand which I've never had to do thankfully um I like it being small and tidy and looking pretty so uh, yeah without further ado let's actually get into the insides which I don't know if you can see that very well uh is just kind of an organized mess so I've just got myself comfy I'm literally just gonna pick things out and tell you what they are so first thing on top are my sunglasses this is a sporting hairs sunglass case and i do have sporting hair sunglasses however i'm not as precious as those sunglasses as i am my jewel sunglasses which are these ones here i've had these for donkey's years um and i just love them it's really hard for me to get sunglasses that fit my head i've got a really short distance between the back of my ear and my temple and arms on sunglasses are always too long and this is literally the first pair that I've ever found in my life that fit me perfectly and I think they suit me and I just love them so I'm really precious about these because if these go then I'm stuffed because I don't think I'll ever be able to find another pair of sunglasses. Next in here I have a couple of little random bits. I've got a packet of tissues, always handy. And I also have a little pot of Tiger Balm. This is such a godsend. If you have not used Tiger Balm, you have not lived. Honestly, when someone recommended this to me and I got it and I have been using it for years, honestly, it's probably been like five years I've been using this stuff. And it's a lifesaver. It's so good if you have migraines or headaches or just a like muzzy head sinus um congestion it's just fantastic it's basically this really waxy sort of balm which you just apply to your temples or the top of your head or um i think you can put it on your nose depending on where the issue is and it's just such a strong minty smell it's so amazing and the it's sort of like a healing, uh, no, sorry. It's sort of like a heating, but cooling sensation at the same time. The spot wherever you put it just goes freezing cold. And at the same time, it feels like it's kind of warm. It's just so crazy, but it's just amazing how it works. Honestly, I'd love to understand how it really works, but it's just incredible. And I can't recommend this stuff enough. And just to go alongside the sort of random bits, Sometimes I don't like to take paracetamol. I'd rather use Tiger Balm if I feel like actually I just need a bit of cooling. However, I have this little tiny pouch, which I think actually came with some nail polish in. This is from number seven, Boots. And it's sort of my little mini first aid kit. However, on the top, I do have a lighter because Daniel's a smoker and sometimes he forgets his lighter. And that's just a drama you never want to experience. So <laughs> I just keep that in there now. Then I have a bunch of little random things which are just really handy to have. So I have a lip balm, some chewing gum, oh and a hair. <laughs> I have a scrunchie and a normal little hairband. I have a tube of hand cream, this is just a little calf one. They're not terribly great but they do smell nice and I don't get terribly awfully dry hands. Then I have a mixture of medication let's say so i have um a neurofen those like nice little capsules that are easy to swallow then i have some paracetamol quite a few rennies because we both struggle with reflux and heartburn so they're really handy to have and then last but not least in here i just have a pad next thing i have 
is my little travel hair rush. This is from Tangle Teaser and it's just this like little black starry um, print. I've had Tangle Teasers literally since they were first on Dragon's Den, which I don't, I don't, that was probably early 2000s, wasn't it? I should think. It was so long ago now and I've got two main size normal everyday hairbrushes and then I have a wet brush as well and then I have this little travel one which is really great it's got this little cover to protect the bristles so they don't get damaged in transit and uh, it's just perfect it's literally your favorite hairbrush in mini size and then I think la oh I do also have very helpfully my uh car keys so I have obviously my car key my house key and then I just have this one little key ring which I got from Mackenzie and George and it's literally just got jazz um engraved or embossed embossed yeah in it and this is really cool because you can get this in absolutely any color uh, variation you like so you can change the leather color you can change the foiling color and you can change the or like you can choose sorry the metal so I've got silver on silver on I'm not sure what color this bit of leather is it might be tan or dark brown I don't know what they label them as but I'll link this below everything that I've mentioned I can link it below where possible um but yeah I just love it it's just my favorite key ring and that's literally all I need on my keys I hate bulky key rings and then lastly my purse, which I believe I did, yeah, I would have mentioned this in my Fairfax video, so I won't go into detail, but this is my little purse. I think this is the Canterbury purse. However, they don't make this particular one anymore, which is such a shame because it's such a great little wallet purse. Um, but they do have something very similar, so I'll link that below if you're interested. Uh, very basic. I have, like, obviously all my card slots there, then there's a space for cash there, but... I mean, we live in pretty much cashless society these days, so never really have cash. However, does anyone live in this really strange world where they don't ever have notes, yet they have so much change and coins just everywhere? Yet where do they come from? Because I never have notes. I don't understand that. And I do believe that is it for the bag. Sometimes I carry a pen, but it's very rare I carry a pen because I don't have a notebook to write on so why would I just carry a random pen I normally just put my notes on my phone oh so that would be the other thing I'm actually filming on that right now but obviously my phone would either be in my bag or in my pocket or something so I think that's pretty much everything that I would ever carry in my bag obviously let me just uh, make that a bit nicer uh, obviously depending on the weather you know I might carry a brolly I have like one of those little travel ones which are you know compact and tidy I might carry a travel shopping bag. I have one of those reusable ones that you fold up and then put into the little pouch that fits in there. Treat, uh, you know, I might carry the, the lipstick that I'm wearing that day. There's actually a lot more space in here that I could use additionally to what I've already got in there. There's a hell of a lot of space in this little thing. And as I said before, you can also expand it. So then it makes it even bigger, which is just amazing. So uh, yeah, that is my handbag. I hope you enjoyed having a little nosy into what I carry in my bag every day. If you did enjoy this video, please do give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos from me or you enjoy what I do, please do subscribe so I know. And I thought I'd also mention, just in case you were interested, I don't tend to wear makeup very often. However, if you would like a little video on what I carry in my little makeup bag, this is so cute, I just love it so much. If you'd like to know what's in here or what my sort of everyday makeup look is, please do let me know in the comments. I'd love to do that, but I might do it anyway, even if no one wants it, just because I think that'd be so fun. So yeah, I do like a little what's in my makeup bag, plus my everyday easy makeup look, which is what I'm wearing today. And yes, so that's pretty much my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. As I say, if you do, please give it a like so I know. And I think I might try and do a vlog for my next video, but we'll see if anything interesting is actually happening. So uh, yes, we shall see if I can do a vlog or not, because I know that quite a few of you have enjoyed my vlogs in the past and have requested more. So I will 
try and do that for you because I do enjoy doing a little vlog. So as I say, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're having a great time wherever you are and I'll see you again soon.